special meeting of the Economic Development Commission to order. Um, we do have a quorum. Have I got a motion to approve the minutes from the August 13th, 2020 meeting? I'll make that a motion. Do I have a second? Sure. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries, thank you. Public participation? None. Reports. The, the Eastern Connecticut Land Bank submitted a pre-application for a brownfield grant for the command area, which is the command site proper plus the majority of, of parcels that were owned by command, currently owned by TD um, and uh, Provincial Capital Associates, I believe it is, um, as well as Keystone Cleaners to perform brownfield assessments on those properties to see what is necessary to get them cleaned up. Um, we got approval from DECD that our pre-application passed muster. So now I'm in the process of preparing the formal grant application, which will be submitted as soon as DECD uh, releases the um, notice of funding availability. They have not um, gotten the fund, fund allocation from the bond commission, but the money is already approved. So they're hoping, they were hoping that the NOFA would go out this month, but now it looks like it's more going to be next month. So that's an extremely positive thing. I just have a question on that. From the command site, they didn't know what was environmentally... There have been environmental studies done on that property in the past. Yep. Um, unfortunately, DEEP records room is closed right now. So I can't get a hold of those documents and uh, the command attorneys have not been able to provide them to me. I don't know what assessments have been done. I don't know what degrees. I don't know phase one, phase that two. I don't they know. stop the demolition and stop all of the stuff that's going Beg your on. pardon? Isn't that why they stopped the demolition and et cetera? Because the environmental issues were not. They stopped the demo because of the, of the environmental concerns, yeah. yes, and um, also the removal of material. So that's that's a really I'm really excited about that. I'm really really excited about that, and that will be step one in seeing that area cleaned up and revitalized. Um, community connectivity uh, grant program. The town submitted an application uh, for. It's a three phase project. Phase one is for installation of sidewalks on Shepherd Hill Road uh, from just south of the entrance to the school, the entrance drive, going all the way to the north and down almost to the intersection of Route 12, but not quite. And it's also going to have um, crosswalks at the street intersections for Charlotte, uh, Marie and Lori Drive. So phase two will be from the northern end of phase one, down Route 12, um, heading to Warregan, go and take a, a left onto uh, Route 205 and go down just to um, South Chestnut Street. And it will also cross Route 12 and go couple of hundred feet down Moosa Pond Road with obviously safety crosswalks and whatnot installed there. And phase three will pick up at the southerly end of the school entrance drive, come down East Shepherd Hill and take a, a left heading up north on Route 12 to where it will have a crosswalk and pick up with the, those sidewalks in Central Village. So that, that's exciting, and I'm really hoping that project gets approved as well. And I did pass out tonight, um, I updated the Economic Development Commission Action Plan, so you got copies of that. And I also updated the available properties list, uh, which is commercial, industrial, industrial park, um, other than residential properties. I updated that list uh, the 27th, so now you have an updated list on that. Other than that, we 
do have, I don't know if you've um, been following the Planning and Zoning Commission, but at its meeting on November 10th, we will, the Commission will be reviewing a site plan application for the dog track property at 137 Lakebrook Road, which will be an Amazon distribution center. So that's, that's a good thing for the town. Other than that, we're good. Okay, old business, Economic Development Commission plan priorities and updates. When I emailed the plan around to you, I asked that you review it, um, prioritize what you think is important and what you would like to work on. So um, Jen Green could not be here tonight, but she said she would like to work on the inventory of commercial real estate as well as preparing data package to promote business recruitment. So Jen has committed to work on those two. Have you had a chance at all to go through the plan and what do you think you'd like to work on? Me? Anybody? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I did look at it. Um, I would like to work on capitalizing centers as a promotional opportunity. Hold on, I'm looking for that, Ava. On the very last page. Uh, okay. Is it possible? And I want to participate in our phone visitations. Yeah, okay. And what? Oh, sorry. Huh? I know. I want to participate in our going visitations and I want to do Capitalize on the Tinkins Bank Building Centers as a promotional opportunity. Okay. Thank you. I, I, Paul, you, you said that you uh, had some ideas? Um, I'd like to try and work on, like, we had those informational meetings with the villages. Yeah, the village vision, yeah. And find out what the people are looking, what they would like to have done or what they would like to do, with, especially, like, working with some of the, like, the property the town owns in the middle of Musa. Yeah. Um, or any other place uh, that the people might want to want. Okay, so basically what you're talking about is the engaged community members from each area? Yeah, or, or prioritizing investment in municipal projects, one or the other. Okay. Because if that goes hand in hand. So if you find out from what, what, the, uh, what the townspeople might like, yeah. you, obviously, for instance, if you're going to going to do something with that piece of property in the middle of Musa, uh -huh. um, you're going to need to talk to the, the, the rest of the, the, the heads of the town yeah. and give them ideas and see where we have, depending on what the project might be, where you're going to get the money or how you want to do it. And that's mm -hmm. So it's kind of finding out what the people might want and then try to connect it with the town see if it, try to see if it can be a priority or if, it can, if it's not something okay. that can be done or can be done. So based on that being said, what do you think, Paul, about you taking on the engaged community members as step one, okay. and then potentially as step two, create the plan? We can work sure. together to create a plan. Sure. Okay. So once COVID's done, yeah, right. <laughs> that's where I'd like to uh, see. If we can, uh, that meeting we had at that one time was great. Wasn't it wonderful? So if we can do something like that again, and you know, talk to people about certain projects that they like to see. Uh -huh. um, you know, like like we have some buildings that are just shouldn't be standing there anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. Um, the community might want to have some sort of I don't want to use the word too much the light ordinance, so to speak, or blight. Try to get rid of the light. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's might be a priority for someone, especially depending on village you're from. Yeah. Um, why don't you, can I ask you to do this, Paul? Sure. Um, maybe come up with like a, a, a draft of an agenda type thing, and we can talk about that and see how maybe we can get it rolling, mm -hmm. okay? Mary, yeah? I'm interested in tourism. Okay. And promoting Plainfield. I don't know if you put it down in this. Well, that, that'd be, like we have the trails. That would, uh, that would get the community involved in it. Might bring it to the tourism. Yeah. Um, 
bear with me. Okay, the engagement of, okay, connect tourism related businesses to key statewide and regional resources. That's kind of broad. I think what you're talking about, June, is getting tourists to come to town. Well, to make it a place where people would want to visit even out of town, that's all. Yeah. I mean, these trails and the action around the rivers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you like those two? And yes, I know but to promote it digitally as well as, you know, pamphlets and yeah. things that can be placed in hotels. Why don't you come up with like a bullet list okay. of what you think would be appropriate for okay. those two things? And you also wanted to work on an inter interactive agriculture map, right? right. Okay. Okay. And um, as far as I go, what I'm working on. I have been working on uh, inventorying available commercial space, um, which is a little bit different than what Jen is going to take on, um, but I think they can both go together because once we have an inventory of the commercial real estate in town, we'll know within, for example, a multi-unit building what vacancies they have, what's the square footage, and what's the rental rate, which could then be added to the, in, the, act, the available properties inventory. And uh, I've also been working on, and I'll continue to work on this with Jen, uh, prepare a data package to promote business recruitment. Um, I've gotten some documents made up. Um, I've got the bus lists, I've got a, the business development guide that um, the commission was in favor of. I presented that quite some time ago. Um, I've also calculated the distance and access to the transit networks, drive time to major uh, hubs, um, transportation, and I'm still working on the others and I will continue to work on those now with Jen Lexer Park. And Ava and I will continue to do the business visitations. And I've also started working on a regional farm trail map. Kind of, and it would be similar to the Connecticut Wine Trail, but it would be the Eastern Region Farm Trail. I approached the Plainfield Agriculture Commission in at its September meeting because obviously, even though I think this would be a good thing for the region and for Plainfield, as it's an agriculture thing, I didn't want to move forward with it unless we had the support of Plainfield's Agriculture Commission. And they were all, all for this. They, they were in favor of, of the um, creation of the trail. And they offered to help in whatever way they needed to help. And what I will be doing once municipalities um, open up a little bit more, I'll be approaching each municipality in the region, Wyndham County and in London County, um, to discuss with their agriculture commissions what kind of interest they may have. And if they would like to be included in that trail, I then ask them if they could get me any information about their farms, what they offer, what their hours are, do they host any events, and that type of thing. So this is this farm trail is in its infancy now, but I think that it would really be well received once it's put together. Do we have any other discussion on this? Okay. Um, don't have any new business. We have no executive session. The trade name listing was sent around digitally, so that's our correspondence. And with that, unless anybody has anything else, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed?
Motion carries, 715. Thank you all.